another episode of Chatty Broads with Becca and Jess. Ah, a frothy ale. To you, sir. Uh, to you as well. Oh, shit, I can't drink into this thing. Oh, the manly men coming here mm -hmm. today. If you're watching on the YouTube, <clears throat> you will see us in our, our garb. Regalia. Oh, no, regalia. I just look like Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I bought, <laughs> I bought the, uh, you know, this is like Viking and yours is so much more Viking than I'm I. I'm very, <laughs> and I gave you my, I gave you my, let me see the hat. Yeah. yeah I feel like the, I gave you the oh, hat. Oh shit, my headphones. And I feel like with the hat, oh, I have my headphones on, let me see. It's a little bit more, but it's still just Santa who's pillaged your village. I feel like I look without the hat. I look like a character from like the road or something. <laughs> you just look like a guy who's in Book of uh, Eli. I'm just, yeah, exactly. I'm surviving the apocalypse. Oh, my beard's coming off. This is, man, this is a, I will say, cheap. <laughs> I do have sick braids, though. If they could see the braids, the braids would make the it braids more, are more very, dwarven. It's very, see, I get like very like Sons of Anarchy. For me? <laughs> <laughs> well, like the, the braids. I'm, I'm not into that, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Let's go, dude. The first couple dude, seasons were so sick. I'll be honest with you. It's been two minutes in this outfit. You can't do and it. Already, I'm exhausted. My nose hurts. I'm already. The, must, the fake mustache is riding under my nose. I can't nose. do it, dude. But I'm scared. The the, the hair too. All right. Hey, it's sick though. Do we look good? It is sick. Welcome, all ye. Welcome. Welcome ye. Welcome. Welcome. We're going to discuss the Minterol. What? <laughs> what accent is that? <laughs> yeah. It's like pirate Viking kind of. That's what I. I'm just Viking on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like just modern British guy. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, we're just. This is a friendly landing this He's time. Like, I look scary, but me's not. No, we're not pillaging today. No pillaging, just going about to village. We're spreading cheer. Looking for a well. Do you need, we'll, we'll spread holiday cheer. We'll pillage all the negative holiday energy. <laughs> now you're, now you're kind of Australian. You've kind of, you've, you've, you've that's the thing. I've melded. What? <laughs> this but see, when I'm right, when I'm riding. I when, want to be more like a pirate of the of miscellaneous pirate. I've traveled a lot. <laughs> Me accent flows and it goes. Carries some naked butterfly in this sort of. Uh, oh. now, you're from, now you're from like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the beard's gone already. The beard's halfway up. Halfway up, but. They can't see it as much. It's still in my. Fa it's still in front of me on this, so it kind of works. But my teeth change all over. <laughs> me chompas. Me chompas. Dude, how was uh, Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was a mission. Yes. That was. Um, well, I'm proud of myself. I traveled. I traveled with both kids without Becca. That's a lot. Yeah, I did have my mom and dad and my brother with me, but it was mostly the kids were sort of like they needed. It was just all dad time. Right. It was a four and a half hour plane ride with two kids. And you weren't expecting it too. So it wasn't like you were planning on the, oh, this is how it's no. going to be. It was yeah. last minute. So if you guys don't know, Becca got hoof and mouth dizzy. <laughs> she got the hoof. <laughs> she got she got the hoof, the hoof, baby. She got the hoof in her mouth. You know, it's, a fe it's another fecal related disease like pink eye. So there was some weird like, I keep joking. Becca might not have brought it up, but she probably ate one of the kids poop or something <laughs> put that close to your mouth she ate. that's what i was wondering i was like is someone playing with poop is like that's is like one of those happening. my strange addictions yeah did did uh ember ever had come down with this she didn't but uh we all know her story oh yeah how she ate poop once projectile she got away without getting hit she didn't foot. get the hoof she's well she wasn't living in the in the uh the 1200s no yeah, it's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> That's insane, dude. So, yeah, she bailed on me. Didn't meet my fam. It was funny. She considered flying, and it was just like, well, even if you just have a fever, like they're probably not even going to. They're probably just going to turn you away at the gate. Oh right, they're not going to let yeah, you on right. the plane. And then I was like, even if you do get on the plane, we somehow make it to Indiana with your fucking sick ass. We'll 
I end up like just visiting nursing homes and stuff. Right. Visiting my grandma. It's like, we'll just kill all of like Northern Indiana. <laughs> like what happened in Indiana? Right. Just like massive plague sweeps through the Martinez plague. <laughs> it's just like, screw Omnicron. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of the Martinez? Yeah, dude. Thanksgiving was gnarly, right? It was like, you got Rick with that. Jess yeah. got hit with the gnarliest tooth extraction of all time was basically laid out. The lady, the the lady who took her tooth out, said this is the worst she'd ever dealt with. I think like when they went to pull it, it just fell into a million pieces. So oh. they had to like pull it out piece by piece. Oh, that sounds awful. She said it was the worst experience of her life. I can't. I don't like the dentist one bit. No one does. And so then, th- so then the day that that happens, we then leave, or the next day we then leave for like a vacation for the whole week, and basically the whole vacation is just her laid out, trying not to cry in pain me running around with Ember and we're just trying to survive while whilst going to random dentists in Encinitas to just try and get her more pain meds and like antibiotics. So it sounds like the boys had a really good uh, Thanksgiving. It was solid. Yeah, it was super fun. It was just survival while our ladies got Great. Murked. Can't wait for next year's Thanksgiving. Can't wait for the <laughs> holiday. Can't wait for Christmas and all this shit to be over. Oh my God. Are you guys are you guys staying in town or what are you doing for Thanksgiving? We're gonna be going up Christmas? to Fresno. Oh, got it. Okay. See her fam because we went to this was about my fam, so now we're gonna see her fam. Got it. Which also we had a lot of fun in Indiana. I'm not gonna lie. Was it a good time? Yeah, it's d- definitely. Good. I always have a good time when I go back to Indiana. What'd you guys do? Did you guys do like shoot guns and shit? I did shoot guns. Nice. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun how that got brought up because her, uh, my cousin's husband, one of my cousins, Alex, her husband Danny, was telling me that he had like some like just woods like just acres and i was like what do you do i was like you should do you like to shoot guns do you shoot guns on it and that was like the first thing that came yeah, into my mind like, he's like yeah actually like do you do you like to do that i was like yeah i do and he's like oh we're shooting we're shooting uh clays tomorrow if you want to come and i was like yeah this was a totally different world this was fun this was like some shit you only do in the midwest but i pull up i meet them on this lot and it's just like a massive grass field, yeah. like a few acres, which is woods behind it. Okay. And um, they have a big bonfire going and an SUV backed up to it with a big screen TV in the back of it. And they have Hell the yeah. college football games playing. And then someone's dad brought down like brisket chili that they had like made from like a few days ago, just like, you know, and, and uh, cheese dip. Just get it ripping again. Just, yeah. And then there's just like 10 people there. And it was just like beers beers and football and chili going on and then just like 10 yards away then they had a electronic uh trap machine flinging you just stepped on a thing and it just sh- shot it out and so like we had like a legit like pull and the thing just shot it out oh so people are shooting oh yeah while watching movies and then i was so watching then, sports yeah. it was i a- dude i love that stuff yeah me too i, I love fucking it too. i hate how hard it is to access it here where we are yeah right. we're like an hour and a half outside here you can do whatever you want. Right, like have a and places being, like that. Exactly. Just BLM land. But like being in Los Angeles, like you, we have to travel so far to be able to have like yeah. it be a thing. These guys can just go in their backyards. Just go five minutes down the road. Right. And like your neighbors come out and they'll join you. Right. Crazy shit we were talking about though was just home home price differences. Yeah, I know things have probably gone up to a lot for them even still, right? But, I don't know. I mean, like as Fort Wayne, there's a lot of people moving there. There was a lot of construction happening in downtown, which was like surprising. Okay. Rarely, you don't see like it on that scale. Yeah. And then, um, but like my cousin, my other cousin just bought a house on... Um, now you look kind of Amish. Oh yeah, because it's kind of vibe now. And now I don't it's, know now it's kind of like... There's a lot of Amish up in India. I love that. I love but that. They... Uh, he so he they were telling dude their house we were talking about property taxes and i was like oh my god like this is insane it was just how cheap it was so ridiculously cheap and then when we found out what his house was it was also just like oh my god like Like, that's how much it costs to redo the we're living in a 1000 square foot for what we paid and for like you know a fifth of what we paid this fucker has like a six bedroom right on a golf course has a massive basement like, hold it, you're just like, cool. Wow. Fucking crazy. <sighs> That's the thing, right? But then you don't live on the beach. That's like the trade-off. It's you don't like, live on the you beach. Li- you, you can have live anywhere. Winter, right, you have bugs. winter, bugs, heat, sweat. 
it gets real mucky that's like the thing right if 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 weather is not a big thing to you then like life can be so much easier Mm -hmm. but you also get snowmobiles quads that's true lakes Lakes, is there lakes in indiana yes there are my parents got a spot in Montana, and every time I go out there, it's like the same vibe. I'm just like, it's it's like people live insanely different lives in the same country. Like, it's laughably it's different. So different. It's incredible, though. But I will I will say, like, when I think about living in it every day, I think like, oh, I'm so used to California, California, my whole life, especially like in a metro- metropolis, California, right? Like we all lived in like, you know, I lived in Long Beach, you lived in L.A., and it's like. It's fun to visit. I do wonder if like people who were born and raised in say New York or LA or Miami or whatever, Chicago, moving to that environment after like a month, could you handle it? I don't know, dude. I mean, like this is what our obsession with where we were at in Mexico. My friends. Same thing. Same thing. Like, our people, friends, friends moved to moved, Costa Rica or whatever. It's like a totally different they thing. They were like in restaurants and fashion in New York, really successful, just moved down there. And like, they have no thoughts but wouldn't you say that Mexico is very different? Like Mexico has a party scene. Mexico is on the beach. That's Mexico true. Mexico is a destination. It's People like go rural, to vacation. You, but especially Indiana, where we're at, it's like you can still party and then you're still that's like That's what on I mean. It's still like having a good, whereas opposed to like Indiana, Montana, it's like these are places where they are rural places that aren't necessarily like destinations for vacation no. as much. So it's like a totally different animal. I love Montana though. It's insane. Every time I go to Montana, I'm like, I could live forever. It's in gorgeous. It's ins- it's stunning. Okay, broads, interrupting the bros. Listen, I fully support a 20 step skincare routine for everyone else except me. Like, yes, great. I'm in theory, let's be real. I stumble into my room after having fallen asleep on the couch four hours ago in the middle of the movie. You're not getting a 20 step skincare routine out of me. No way. I am all about simplifying my skincare with the most uncomplicated routine yet. Thanks to my new favorite beauty brand, Oak Essentials. Okay, I just got to say, I kept getting targeted ads for Oak Essentials, and I had to try because I believe it's made by Jenny Kane. It is. And that girl knows style (laughs) and her face is glowing. And I was like, I have to try this. Oak Essentials gives your skin everything it needs in just five simple steps. All of the products are handcrafted in California using the best ingredients. so, So your skin feels better than ever, doing less. All of Oak's formulas are non-GMO, organic, free from fragrances, silicones, colorants, sulfates, parabens, all the stuff you don't want on your skin, you won't find in any of Oak Essentials formulas. If you struggle to stick to a routine, this is the one for you. It's so simple. The results are so amazing. Mm -hmm. You'll look forward to it each night. Something great about Oak Essentials, too, is that it's all fo- it's food for all skin, whether you're a skincare pro just looking to simplify a bit or you're totally starting from scratch. Their formulas work amazing on everyone. I started my Oak Essentials routine about four months ago, and my skin has been better than ever lately. It feels nourished and soft. And I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I think that it's working. Reveal your best skin with Oak Essentials at oakessentials.com. You can purchase the entire five-step routine for $195. That's actually really inexpensive for a whole system. It's a good deal, especially with this high quality uh, brand. Yeah. Or try your first product for 15% off when you use code chatty at checkout. That's O-A-A-K essentials.com, oak essentials.com, promo code chatty. So in my wildest dreams, I am shredding down the mountain on a snowboard. I'm telling you guys, in high school, Jess was dying to be like the cool oh snowboard my gosh, girl. Oh so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Well, unfortunately, I grew up in Orange County and I wasn't so great on the slopes, okay? But I think this may be the year I finally try to get back up again, get a lesson maybe. There's no telling how that will go. I know for sure, though, I'm going to have the best gear thanks to Blender's. Ooh, yes, you guys, the same blenders that keeps us outfitted in the most stylish sunglasses all summer long also has the best snow collection. I'm really freaking excited to try because I love snowboarding and I haven't been in like three years because I was just either pregnant or had a new baby for the past three years. So I'm ready. They've got three lines of goggles, extra lenses, helmets and beanies. And the goggles and helmets are, of course, going to be great if you're a winter sport junkie. Um, but even if, uh, skiing is more your thing, toss on a beanie and you are set. The stuff is super cute. The in-house design team is working double time to release new styles and colorways all the time. Another reason I really never got into winter sports is that they are, oh wow, expensive. Okay. But Blenders is making winter accessories that are actually affordable. So when you smash, lose, or forget your gear, which is just a fact of life, 
it won't hurt as much because a new pair of blenders won't empty your savings like a pair from another brand would, okay? Um, you already know Blenders has you covered all the time with their awesome sunglasses, prescription glasses, readers, and blue light glasses as well. To score 15% off your Blenders purchase, visit blenderseyewear.com slash chattyvip. That's blenderseyewear.com slash chattyvip for 15% off Blenders rocked with pride worldwide. Um, well, here's the thing. We got, the, we got the men tell all. Yeah. And I will say it was lit. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I'm grateful for the litness. I was, I was, I was nervous. Finally. It was going to suck. And the boys came out. Swinging, too. They came out swinging. Hot-headed and swinging. So I'm going to remove this beard just because it's like kind of killing me. Go for it. Oh. I'm ready. I'm going to go back oh. to the chin. Okay. I like the Amish look. So now I'm just, now, <laughs> now I'm just Chad ah. Kroger. Oh, look, dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> The fur coat is what adds it to like a whole new level because your hair is so wavy. You look uh, like Chad Kroger in the... It's funny. It's just another version of what I had before. It is. It's just another blonde wig. It's a wig. shorter version of now the blonde wig. Look at this ground. Look at this. Or you know what? It's also... You could be doing um any nirv- Nirvana. I can't think of a single. Entertainer. Here we are now. Yeah. yeah well i mean but i'm more like a i'm like a, a malibu version of nirvana just like hey man kind chill of. man kind of kind of man you rock this you're like just a buffer yeah i'm like a thick i'm a thick kurt cobain yeah a couple c's on you're, there yeah you're two c's you're a two c's <laughs> kurt cobain, I'm kurt right cobain with a c <laughs> you're thick, instead honey. of a k <laughs> <laughs> You're thick, Evan. Oh, oh my what's god. Up? What's up, dude? What's cracking? Um, okay, so uh so we had the men tell all, which I felt like was sick. I, I think we should just go through like the all stars of the men tell all. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, all star one, Peter. Peter. I mean, it was kind of a villains episode, right? It was kind of like the people we all hated that we all kind of were like, oh my god, this person sucks. That's their time to shine. Dude, and some of them, you walked away being like, yeah, you know, whatever. You left a better taste. You left a better taste in my mouth on this one than, you know. But my favorite, uh, my favorite thing about Peter is that he's like a classic reality TV villain. Oh, he is like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I was saying when I was watching. I was like, he's old school reality. Old school. TV. Like, you don't know if he's kind of being serious or if he's actually just crazy or if he's playing a game. Like, cause then he'll like get into a legit fight and then say something like rest and what is it? Rest and slut. What is it? Uh, slice appetite. Slice appetite. No, no. He said rest and <laughs> what is it? Rest, rest and rest in pizza. Rest in pizza. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the guy after a full blown, like yelling message goes rest in pizza. And Will's like, Will's like pissed too. So he's like, he's like blood red mad and he's just like, yeah. rest in pizza. Like that's the, crazy. The fake, the fake, the fake. <laughs> You've been served for defamation. Yo, but what do you think about the reviews? I oh. felt for him in that. I was like, that's so fucked up, dude. Yes. I hate getting that. I hate getting negative reviews. Well, don't ever, don't, please don't leave me a negative review. You guys just positives, positive it, vibes only. You know, why do you want to put that out in the world? Right, right. It sucked to me for two reasons, which is like, you're taking a show and like, you don't like him on the show and you mm-hmm. guys beefed on the show. And I get it. And then taking it to like his personal life and like the fact that Will in a lot of ways, probably had every right to be, like, everyone in the room, right, supported Will and was like, yeah, this guy sucks. So it's like, on that alone, Will could have left it as that. But then if he's tagging him and he's trying to, like, assault his personal business, I did feel like Peter had a point when he was like, yo, you're attacking my, like, way that I, like, provide for my mom and shit. And I was like, ooh, that is kind of fucked up. Like, that's a little far, like, when you start reaching into people's lives just because you personally don't like them or didn't connect with them. The other thing is, too, is, like, most people, like, if you're doing that, it's like it doesn't make as big of a deal when the business has like thousands of reviews, right? But, but when the business huge, even has just hundreds, it'll and you it. leave that it hits it big yeah, time, big time. And that's like, and if people are just going to see look at pizza places and they're not aware that that guy owns it and he was a part of a show and that they're, they're just like, whoa, this is kind of a sketchy Completely. place, you know. So that was kind of shitty. Where I felt like Will had every right to be tweaked at him, but I felt like when he found out that like, and I didn't like that the show showed him because then it kind of per- like it like perpetuated the review. So now I felt like it, it almost advertised to like, if someone didn't like him, they could go do it. 
Yeah, it, but it, it gave them the idea. It was also sort of like, I, I mean, the, the other thing is you can't take those reviews down. Right, they're stuck. Yelp will leave them up there. And you as a uh, brick and mortar business owner. Just have that, to deal with it. You felt that. You were like, dude. Yeah. If it doesn't like, if it doesn't, yeah, because it, it'll just live on there right. and it'll fuck up the algorithm of right. like how his, how the, like the real customer experience or the rating of his restaurant is. That was kind of brutal. It was a good diss though when Will said like, get your sister out of my DMs. That was a solid diss. That was a diss. fire burn. That was like, also, out of the clouds. You also, did not expect look it. look at his sister though coming in with fire in the DMs. She's just, probably just lighting his ass up after in Will. all her free time. Oh, just nothing. being Stop, like, eat, eat shit and die, Will. And just like sending whatever, you know? Oh no, she was, she, he was saying, keep her out of my DMs in like a, she's hitting on me way. No. Yes, that was the whole point. He wasn't saying like, don't have her stop DMing me. it was like, that no. she's giving him, hey, no, that see, went it was right over my no, no, head. No, no, it was the Will was saying like, by the way, your girl's hitting on me. Like your, your sister's hitting on me. That, that was the sucks. vibe. That sucks. I, I also loved when at the end, Peter said, hey man, let's just bury the hat. Bury the hat? <laughs> I was like... Isn't and it a what was, hatchet? What was the other one he said? Bury the hat. No, to be like let's on the bury the of- hat and be bygones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like almost, man. Almost. Bury the I hatchet and let that. bygones be bygones. Yes, let's bury, bury the, the hat, hat be and let bygones. Be, be bygones. <laughs> it was like, that sounds like when like one of our parents is like trying to uh, describe like Chipotle and they're like, you know, Chipotle. <laughs> Yeah, you know what that Chipotle My place? mom makes up words, dude. Oh, th- dude, my parents and my in-laws, it's the same. It's like, you guys, why are you guys making up words? My mom has words that for like whatever reason are hard for her to say. So she just keeps, she says them the wrong way. But she'll say like, instead of Jan Sport backpacks, she says Jana Sport. Well, first of all, this is my how, whole life, dude. My friends, how like, many times is she saying on this Jan team. Sport? When we were kids growing up, you got a new backpack. Oh, every, sure. So like, she's like, go, oh, did you get a Jana Sport? School? Oh, a Jana Sport. A Jana Sport go to big five and she's asking the guy like oh yeah you have janice sport and they're like what <laughs> that's such an old person the thing other one to she do she says is divorce <laughs> okay so she's okay so she's that's i would say that's less of a messing up the word and more like someone saying milk instead of milk Ugh. you know what i'm saying Ugh. it's more of a milk or pillow instead of pillow it's like that I'm talking about people who who just butcher everything. Yeah, that's my in laws and my parents. It's just like, oh, let's go. To, uh, let's go pick up some chipotle. That's just like chipotle. <laughs> Zero it's like you literally gave up halfway through the word. It's like chipotle. Chipotle. Yeah, chipotle. It's like chipotle. Ch- chip. Um. Not like okay, chipotle is a spice. It's a pepper. Like yeah. you're making up words. It's, it'd be one thing if it, like I want you to talk about that restaurant that like is a specific name. I love when but you like have you, this. You, you gave, keep, <laughs> you keeps it. If you're not watching on YouTube, which you should, just for this, just see Evan adjust his bangs. He keeps pulling them across his face, like his fingers brush his cheekbones, and he keeps pulling them back from his body. And it's like constantly, he's constantly doing it. Have you well, ever had like, long hair, dude? Not since I was like my like. Not really long, like not like, like this. Really I've never long. had hair like this. No. Yeah. So you have. I've yeah, never I've had, had it. So I was, you got to tuck, tuck it behind your ears. You got to tuck it behind your ears and then put the headphones on. The yeah, headphones hey, are man, ruining you right this now. This is a vibe right hey, here, dude. Man. Hey man, here's the deal, my guy. Um, okay, so who else we got? Chris S. You know, Mr. Wall Street douchebag. Yeah. Loved his fight with Olu. Was here's how I thought of it. If a commenter on a picture ran into the person that they were commenting on regularly, like like an internet troll met the person they were trolling accidentally. Like when Olu stood up, Chris S, you just he wouldn't even look him in the eyes. No, dude. And he's you like, don't... you say I have a you say I have a he's like, you you would say I have a low IQ. And he's like, he just stands up. Well, and Chris Olu S also... was just like Chris S was like, this is the moment. Olu also like led up to that. Like it built really it fast. built up because he was going, going, he and was he, Chris... really chill at first though. And then he was like, yep. Oh, how do I well, feel? I now Chris... that you're asking me how do I feel? And then he just got up. Well, I think the thing was that Chris S wasn't even looking him in the eyes, which is like a really disrespectful move. Like, he wasn't like at least he was like I would have had a lot more respect for Chris being a douchebag if he would have at least looked him in the eyes and kept saying it. But he like wouldn't look. He's like, sit down. No one wants to talk for you. And then Olu was like, well, oh, those are the interesting. It. Those are the interesting choices because you could have. This is what is always surprising when you see this. Is like, bro, this is your chance to like take a breath every time before before you speak. 
and think about how to handle this because you're on TV. This is your reminder. This you clearly it. forgot you were on TV yes, yet again. when they were interviewing you for it. And now yeah. here you are on it. All you have to say is, I was caught up in the moment. It was a dumb thing to say. But he clearly I didn't was feel bad about, about it. it. No. Like he was just like, fuck you. Sorry, I'm distracted by your rave bracelets. They have to be from Ember, right? You like them, dude? No, dude, I've just been really straight, into like, like they toy, look like dude. rave candy. What are you, like a plur child? Well, Upon my journeys, I met oh, some. Going? I went to this place called the Burning Man, and <laughs> I met some wild like, animals. You do look like you're from Burning Man. These are Ember Customs. Sick. I mean, honestly, this one right here, if I'm being real, you could totally get this at like a designer store, and people would be like, "Oh, that's sick." Did, when did you get the uh, Ember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's these a are pipe cleaner. These are twelve hundred bucks a piece. Instead of a piece of string, it's she threaded cleaner. the yeah, threaded the beads on pipe cleaner. The pipe cleaner is the bracelet, it's and that's kind, kind of, of genius. She's just, I've never know, thought of that. I mean, she's well, she's. One I've of, never even seen that. She's a fashion designer. What do you want to say? She is. She's a and it, it maintains a, a a form versus this one's all hangy. Yeah, it's and I will say tight. this is this has got much more vibe to it. Yeah, it's way viber. Um, and it it does kind of ruin my like you know uh, yeah I do now just look like the guy who you meet who's been going to Burning Man for thirty years. Like he's the like, last person I want to talk to at a house he's like, party. Let me tell you of the Burning Man in nineteen seventy nine. There were no rules. You look like a you look like someone who does drugs but doesn't share any of their drugs. I look like the guy who just like, yeah, I got my own and you're like, oh yeah, you want, you want a little hit? Seven bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I need money for the, for the volume. Oh, you want to try this? Yeah. It's going to be three, it's going to be three, three seventy nine. Oh, you, you have, have a cigarette? And you're, you're like, it's like when you bum a cigarette off someone and you go, I'll, I'll pay you for it. He's like, yeah, it's fine. Two or three bucks is fine. And you're like, wait, oh no, that was like a, that's just a nice thing people Two say. Two or no three one ever, bucks for a cigarette. I've had that before. Where I, I do. I've someone, had someone hit me like, offer it to you. Yeah. And be like, oh, you're like, thanks. And they're like, yeah, a buck's fine or two bucks is fine. And you're like, what? Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't have, I don't carry change. Like, I don't, so I don't carry have cash, a dollar dude. on me. Um, so that was, uh, it was amazing just watching Olu just kind of like go, I'm going to see if this guy's actually going to stand up for what he thinks. Yeah. Chris represented the like trust fund kid that's been a dick at every party, at every hangout. Completely. He says like, whatever he wants because daddy got, will take care of he's it. He's got like privileged he's got, all He's over got him. just white privileged asshole. His dad has bailed him out of jail five times. Like he's that guy to me. And so he just is used to be able to go around saying whatever he want, <clears throat> however he wants. And then there's someone who just walks up and goes, what the fuck did you just say? And he's like, you know what I'm saying? So I liked it. It was like, it was like that guy getting a what little piece of reality. He was mad at Michelle for not listening to him. That's what I'm saying. Like he's a, he's the worst. He's the kind of guy that like, if a girl doesn't like him, it's like, cause she's an idiot. You know what I mean? So yeah. it just felt nice to see but he him had get a put down. He had a redemption moment at the end. He, well, I forget what he did at the end, but at the end of the episode, he did something where it was like kind of cheeky. Oh yeah. And it was like, Oh, he, he was like, hey, Michelle, like, you're looking good. Like, he said something like, hope everything's going well for you. And she was just like laughing at him. Right. And being like, you are like, she was sort of just like. You're pathetic. Yeah. And this way of like, you constantly surprise me. And it's like, I hope everything's good for you too. And it was like laughable in this way where it was like, you sort of forgave his villainy because you just sort of laughed at like. How stupid he is. You're yeah, just like, exactly. oh, you little piece of it shit. It was sort of like, oh, cool. Like, Chris is right. just a harmless little idiot. And you just like brushed him off to the side. Yeah, I can't stand that and guy. And then there was like Peter, for instance, at the end of it, you weren't like looking at Peter like he was a total dickhead anymore. It actually kind of flipped. You were just sort of like, yeah, Peter's just like an idiot. Too. Yeah. Oh, at true. The, at the no, end but of the said episode, the, it was I felt like the difference though was, was that like Peter's Jamie, just kind of an like, idiot. <laughs> no, but hear me out. So Peter's just kind of like fun idiot. <clears throat> the worst thing he ever did on the show was like annoy guys and then throw a jacket in the water. Like that's, totally. all, that's all harmless annoyance. Versus, and he threw a jacket in the water because someone was talking about him right. to Michelle. So it's like, it's like he you never can debate. The he's just a fun stuff. guy. Yeah. Where for me, it was like Chris and Jamie were like legit assholes. And then like Chris was like a real bully and like a bad person. And Jamie's like kind of psychopath. Let's get into Jamie. Yeah. That was wild. That was insane. I mean, this is the stuff to me where I'm like, I mean, they spelled it out for him. What's his face was like, dude, this is your chance to just redeem yourself. And Jamie's yeah. like, we were, me and Becca were watching it and she was like, some, some people just like literally can't say sorry. And I, you know, it was funny as we we're talking about all this stuff and I'm just laughing at me and Evan just going through our you know, novices on our therapy paths. Mm -hmm. But I told in couples therapy, I like, we were talking about an apology. She's like, do you want to, so now that we've broached this, do you want to apologize to Becca for this? And I was like, 
No. <laughs> and what did the therapist say? I was like, she was like, do you want to do it in session or do you want to do it like on your own time? I was like, okay, I'll, I'll punt it down the line. I'll do it on my I'll own time. Get it, and you just never and, did it? No, I did it later, but I was like, it was a thing where it was like, it makes the most sense to just do it right here in this right. moment. And we were all laughing about it. And I told her, I was like, we got like, we had like an argument in the car and Becca, like I conceded and she's like, so do you want to say like, do you want to say sorry for having that, that position on that? And I was like, I'd on honestly, like I'd sooner crash the car than say like, I'm sorry, I was wrong about that in that moment and so it was like i was is it because you felt like you were right or is it because you just didn't want to admit defeat even though you knew you were right i Wrong. felt that i was right and i felt that she had got it and then she wanted me to say it god i was like i'm not going to say it i don't want to say it it was one of those things where it was like it was funny like it was cheeky i wasn't like no sure 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 it was like a funny like, flirty thing almost. yeah it was yeah, a, yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah you know it was like a touche right exactly. right 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 yeah right. But it was still like, I was like, I didn't want, it was like one of those things when you're arguing with your sibling and you're like, I'm just not going to, it's not going to give in. It's never going to happen. I'm never going to say that I was actually wrong on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had the vibe to me, um, like when a girl catches the guy cheating and the girl goes, why did you cheat on me? Because you made me. No, no, no. And then he goes, that's a great question. And that, there's three, there's three, uh, you know reasons for this let's let's, let's, let's let's deal with the first it's one. it's all about perspective well the first one is that uh you tend to be you know i'm not saying anything's wrong you just tend to be a little more difficult to be with number two is i don't your new hair color does bother me and and hair color you know is is subject you know like he's that guy he's the guy that like reads books on how to convince people of things and like it's a little scary that like how could you watch the show again show up to the, the to, to the mental all and not just know you're completely in the wrong and be like, okay, but he literally had the look of like, I don't see the problem. I think that they, you know, uh, people are too sensitive. These like, you can no, just tell he, he was like not clicking playing. He's like, you guys are clearly on a lower level. Like if, yeah. if I offended people, I'm sorry for offending them. It was like that. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Like, your feelings you guys are, are hurt. clearly immature. These guys, you're all children. And like, you don't obviously don't understand what daddy's talking about. Also, it's always a weird, creepy vibe when someone is hated in a room and they walk in like saying hi to everyone like they're friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's what he did. He walked, he was blowing kisses to people and he goes, hey guys, fantastic. Good to see you. Good to see you. And you're like, bro, you know, everybody hates you. Like that was another kind of creepily vibe of like not knowing. Like if me or you walked into a room where we knew everyone hated us, we'd walk in and just be like. We wouldn't go, hey, fantastic to see you. How you been? How's business? You'd be like, what? I know like, he hates me. All right, me. let's get it over with. What <clears throat> right. are we doing? Or I would just not show up. Right. But it was it was very weird. So to, to like for him to show up, that that's probably another reason why he showed up though. It's because it was like a I just, well, you know, I want to see everybody. Not and realizing that like, <clears throat> he's gonna have to defend himself. I mean, it was another chance to be on TV. It's just yeah. like egomaniac shit. Yeah. And that stuff, I don't know, dude. Like it's astounding to me to watch. I mean, they called him out for everything. It's just, it's, it's astounding and uncomfortable to me to watch the way like people will double down and commit <clears throat> into just like being liars or being wrong or like at the end of it, like his, his, his apology when he finally apologized, when he finally read the room, it was just like so pathetic and small. And then you could tell he felt like I deserve credit for apologizing. Yeah, like he had that, like, hey, you know what? And I'm sorry for that, you guys. All the guys and did. Like, well, no, you're they not supposed to clap for yourself. Chance. They had their little <clears throat> chance to apologize. It was just like so small and pathetic. It was really, it was just weird to see him not um, understand the problem. Like you could tell they were the guys were explaining it to him, and he's just like, that's very interesting, you know. And and I understand you have your opinion, and I appreciate your opinion. And you're like, no, no, this isn't an opinion thing. This is like so obviously you were a liar. You created a fake idea. And then when you were exposed for it, literally on camera with facts, you like, well, you know, I, I just, I, I mean, you, what you can PJ have your opinion and you're like, dude, what is there possibly to get? Our man PJ had like a great little like dig at him when he was explaining and he's like, dude, you literally like I talked to you. Right. He's like, I felt betrayed by you. Yeah. Betrayed when he saw it, when he saw his actions and that just like didn't even register with Jamie. He's like, whatever fucking he's basically like, just like, so I'm done sensitive. with that. Just, psh, yeah. Sorry, you were offended. Very weird. Well, the last one I wanted to discuss super quick was Ryan, the guy with the documents. You know, when they, when they un uncovered oh, the documents. Yeah. Yo, quick question, Ryan. Why'd you come back? 
Your only <clears throat> impression on the show and contribution was that you got busted for literally having documents to expose you for playing this thing like a game show and then you got kicked off immediately and then they brought you back clearly to humiliate you and then you came back and then you came back <clears> with <throat> the same weak bullshit that didn't work yeah like you had a year my or six friends, months to work my on my brother's this. wife my and her friends my 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 friends put this thing together come up with a better lie at least be like hey um to be honest with you also cheat better cheat way better if so, you're gonna so, cheat cheat take it from a cheater if you're gonna cheat cheat better dude put it on your phone put it on an ipad put it on something dude literally like and it, it, literally he had paper you had Who the most has like a folder with it paper was like in a it. plant it was like <clears throat> some weird bullshit it was like something the producers would pull where you had just like this massive manila folder binder of evidences of like if you were to be black if you were a blackmailed person it would be like you have a safe in your house behind a painting like yeah, above you your bed and inside deed to your it, house inside that safe is like ten thousand dollars the deed to your and, house and five and, diamonds and every scandalous photo ever taken yeah, of you through right. your entire life <laughs> right, you and have it like, there just so that someone can get like my whole thing was like he must have like, like during quarantine gotten drunk and then like slipped to someone on the crew and just be like yeah i know i got this kind of cheat sheet we'll see how it goes ha, 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 no, right? yeah exactly He's and like, then oh, all i'm not sudden, worried i'm not worried i've actually got this whole binder full of things and thinking it's their friend and then he just goes by the way we gotta uh, like we, we gotta create a bit where we go into everybody's room but reality is i know there's a binder in there it was probably a pa that he was hitting on yeah totally he goes, if this whole thing with michelle doesn't work out like, exactly okay. she's like okay plant Call a producer, be like, we hey, got we're it. we're going to fuck this guy. Actually, he's a total asshole. And then he shows up, <clears throat> gets completely roasted, and then that was it. And I'm just like, why'd you show up again? Just to get more hate? Were you missing it? Okay, what do you... Th I hate digging on people for this stuff, but he has like a straight up like Johnny Bravo style pompadour. He looks exactly like Johnny Bravo. Just a brunette version of Johnny Bravo. He looks up... He looks like male. Like guy in... But like, like super guy. cuts. Like super cuts yeah. men's haircut. He has incredibly thick hair to withstand Looks that. Fantastic. I think it's like it's, his hair is his hair fantastic. is fantastic. His hair is phenomenal. He should be in hair if he didn't ruin himself on The Bachelor. Uh, I mean, hair has no, you know, hair doesn't care. But not like high end hair, like L'Oreal. No, he's like the guy. Yeah, like when you go to one of those like small barbers, his pictures like in the window, it's all faded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Yeah, off brand. Not super cuts or fantastic Sam. No sports like some, sports clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you can watch the game while you're just some like a generic done. place where there's just like generic haircuts poster <laughs> that comes up. That's the I love that guy though. He gig. probably just missed a, having people talk to him online, and then he's like, "I got to come back and just even if it's hate, I'll take it. I'll take it. The attention." Um. All right. Well, I'm excited for next week. I mean, it's it's heating up, bro. Yeah. It's heating hey, up. You know what? Speaking of attention, the new segment we've been plugging has gotten some attention. Yes. And the, the mail, the inbox at the gym has been flooded. Apps just flooded. So we sent out uh, the gym address because we didn't really want to give away our home addresses. So we gave no. away the gym address to send in for our new and inaugural. Inaug is that a good question. Inaugural or not a girl? Inaugural. 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 Okay. Yeah. In a girl. In a girl. In a in a girl. In a girl. In a, I'm like Chipotle. <laughs> inaugural. I'm gonna put that Chipotle in a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna this is our inaugural Chipotle. This is plug something. Plugs. Welcome to plug something. Welcome to plug something. Where the broads and the bros send in random things. We collide. And uh we open up the box. It's kind of an unboxing now. It is. And we just see what you guys are about, whether yeah. this be business stuff or whether this be random shit and you're look, sending us. Really, this is just like, this has evolved from just fun segments of inadvertently plugging friends, businesses and stuff. But also like, it's something I, I'm, I'm deeply passionate about it because getting your business out in front of people is extremely hard. And we're making it. It's look, if you have, if you're an entrepreneur and you listen to our podcast, we relate, we empathize with the struggles you're going on. Send us, if you have a physical thing, that is your business. Send it to the gym address, 205 East Anaheim. Evan and I are going to open it. Yeah. We're not promising anything. Yeah, we're not this promising isn't, this isn't like if you send it, we you're will just, praise it. No, you're just, we're going to open it and we're just going to, we're, we're gonna just going to love it. We're, we're, we're not going to be assholes about it, but we're also just going to just ingest <laughs> no, it in I mean, the moment. Gonna, no promises. No promises ingesting go, in the moment. We're not like going up. We're not going to be like, oh, we're purposely going to find things wrong with no, it. No, you're no, just, no. You're going to see honest, us just, unboxing it. 
and, whatever, and ingesting it. Yeah, exactly. Whatever happens afterwards. And look, if it's yours, rip it from our YouTube and use it on your page as well. Absolutely. Um, All right. Here we go. We have, oh, wait, wait. We first off, so oh. I have things for us. Me and Becca, okay. were, when we were in Santa Barbara, we okay. went to a flea market. I've had these for weeks. I'm really excited. And we got things, but these were, um, let's see, this one's to me. These were sent to us, Evan. This one's for you. It says to Evan. Oh my God. Look at this. I don't think this was a, a plug. This came to my actual house. I think this somehow this was, Becca gave us me these for the show. Becca gave us me? Yeah. Becca <laughs> gave us me for the show. That's my English tonight, baby. <gasps> Yo, Velvet no. Robs. What? Are these kind of like bring a cheer? Oh, bro. Outfit change? Whoa, yours is green. Oh, this is a outfit change. Outfit change. Outfit change. They're like sexy robes because they're very short. But in, on video, we look sort of like Hogwartsy, like wizard vibes. Like, right? Like, we kind of look like enchanters. Look at that. Whoa, these are sick. Okay, and now that you got your hat on, okay, here's what I got for you. Here's what I got for you and me. I got these at a flea market. You pick which one you want. <laughs> <laughs> They're super oh. cool. My God. I think I want cockfight. <laughs> I think I want cockfight, dude. So if you can't see, hold it up. Hold it up. It's a sick hat with the roosters fighting embroidered on it and on the pill it says cockfight wow and then on mine it's Dude, look two at these, dragons who, who's the, who are these from um these, these were just generic hats no no no, no. I, know, I know where these came from where do these robes come from i have no idea wait there's no like it just has two gray it just gave them to me were they in a box from someone from oh me, it's it a says, solstice solstice okay solstice solstice robes, robes or sol cool. solstice yeah. something hey a plus a plus. This is the first of the unboxing. Like, I'll be honest with you. Fire. Okay. This these are sick hats, dude. So my favorite was we bought these hats and we showed them. Becca saw these hats and he she goes, Oh my god, this was the kind of hats like the only kind of hats my grandpa wore. Oh yeah. This is And then we brought them home and showed Becca's dad, and he's like, These are the only kinds of hats my dad wore. This is kind of like, like a Von style. Dutch vibe. Well, this is this is a vibe for sure. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and this hair works perfect with it. Okay, now we're look at, ready now, look at this, five. baby. <laughs> Woo! Nash car, baby! I want to go. <laughs> I don't know why. It sounds, it's I, It's one of those things that I would actually love to go see in real life. You can dream. Hey! Oh, I looked like, you know what I look like? Dude, I'm a dead ringer for Tiger King. You are. This is Tiger King vibes. Very Tiger King Hey, come King on vibe. down. I haven't started it yet. I'm not sure if I want to. All right, broads, interrupting the bros one more time. Um, I really want the best of both worlds when it comes to eating healthy. And by that, I mean I want to be able to find and purchase all of my favorite healthy food and home products, but all in one place. Okay, I don't want to have to go to four stores to find everything that I want. Well, we have a solution for you, and that is Thrive Market, the online membership-based market on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I feel like saying Thrive Market has everything still doesn't do justice to just how big their selection is and how much they have to offer. On the site, you'll find everything from sustainable seafood and organic pantry staples to clean beauty products and healthy snack options. I always do a big Thrive Market order when I need to stock up on natural cleaning products. They have all my favorite brands that are they're kind of difficult to find in store. And with my Thrive membership, I end up saving money every time. I also love their clean beauty options. Mm -hmm. One of the many really amazing features on Thrive Market is the ability to shop by your own lifestyle and your preferences. Um, you have a little sidebar where you can search whatever you want. Vegan, um, I mean, whatever, honestly. And there are filters for all of those things. And you can easily see which products fit those categories. Shopping has never been easier and more streamlined for you. Plus, Thrive delivers everything right to your door. I mean, come on, broads. It doesn't get better than that. Can your grocery store do that? No. <laughs> well, now you can go to thrivemarket.com slash chatty and have it all. Join today to get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Hello. That's T-H-R-I-V-E market.com slash chatty. You'll get 30% off your first order and a free gift. Thrivemarket.com slash chatty. 
Broads, is there anything better than getting invited somewhere? I mean, honestly, life really is better together, especially with the holidays coming up. It's that time of year to be with friends and family. And if you have an event or party coming up, make your invite extra spe- special with Evite. Um, and Evite makes so much more sense than sending out physical stuff. Not only is it better for the environment, it's also free. It's free. So it's so much better, better for, for the environment. And as someone receiving invitations, I prefer to have it on my phone so because I can check it. it. Because I lose paper I... invitations all the time. That way I have it pulled up. It's I easy. Know. I can get the directions where we're going. Bada bing, bada boom. And Evite offers thousands of free invitation options for whatever occasion you have coming up. Be it birthdays, weddings, baby showers, holiday parties, any event, big or small. Evite has a custom option for you and all the invites are fully customizable. It literally takes just minutes to create custom invites, upload your contact list and send them out. You can even link a gift registry, notes and directions on your Evite and RSVP RSVP tracking is included. Oh, and did we mention it's free? It's free. I actually use Evite all the time. In fact, Ember's birthday party with her friends a couple weeks ago, I used Evite to send out my invitations. And I have to say the RSVP tracking is seriously the best because you can easily stay on top of your guest list so smoothly. The design options are cute. There are like millions to choose from. Honestly, that's one of the most difficult parts of planning a party is picking out the invitations. Mm -hmm. And Evite makes it so easy to get out invites for all of my special celebrations. I might just throw more parties now. Who knows? Wow, look at you. you. Evite's making you more fun. (laughs) Evite is helping make our celebrations feel extra special and they can help you too. Head over to evite.com slash chatty to choose from thousands of design options to create and send invitations for free. That's E-V-I-T-E dot com slash chatty, evite.com slash chatty. All right, next box. Dude, I'm the coming one that in I love partially opened. Okay. Mm. You open it. I'm this is a vibe with this. a Miller Light. Dude, yeah. the Tiger King, baby. Okay, I'm going to read this while you By unbox the way, I stuff. Love, I love this hat. Cockfight? Are you kidding me? This is, dude, this is, so this is what's special here. Dear bros, my name is Brad, and I think I have a product you will love. <laughs> me and my girlfriend love the Chatty Broads, and we listen to every episode together. Secretly, we like the Chatty Bros even more. Yeah! Don't tell. <laughs> Woo. Don't tell back in jest. We're so going to. I work for a small hand sanitizer company called Germstar in Orange <clears throat> County, California. We made a ton of different products, but the one I know you guys love is luxury hand sanitizer Germstar Lux. Let's go. It is a stylish hand sanitizer Ooh. with sophisticated <laughs> perfume and cologne scents for people who want to use a hand sanitizer while out to dinner or at an event while still looking professional and elegant. I have sent four different types. One for each of you to try. We hope you like it. People are able to purchase it on our website, germstar.com. Keep uh, making great shows. We love you guys. She wanted to say something different and then she scratched it out and then filled it in. It was a hard letter. <laughs> this is a handwritten no, guys. That's a very DIY vibe. We will when never you st- forget <laughs> A-Rod for stealing Grayson's yes. friend's male makeup idea. Oh, never bullshit. forget never and forget. never forgive. Look at that. PSS, my girlfriend has no idea I'm sending this an email. Me at work, be park at germstar.com and let me know if you choose this product and I will try and film her reaction when you plug it. Sorry First of I did an email, you big dog. Because I'm not opening, I'm not perusing these things before we, before we. First of all, you know what I love? Whoa. 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 Elegant was no understatement, bro. So you know what I do love about that? I love that. Whoa. Dude, you see see the action on this. Dude, I'm going to do the pink one. Whoa. What a vibe. Get it on. Oh, I'm sanitized. Ooh. You have to pump it a couple times to get it going. Smell it. Yo, let me let me smell yours. It like mine's Macy's. like fruity and tasty. Oh yeah, dude, yours smells like a vape. Oh, this is like this smells, dude. This smells like uh, cologne. Yeah, no, I'm just saying that smells like you're walking Ooh, through the first floor. Of this Macy's. is this is nice, tasty, this one's fruity. Yeah, this, this one. Okay, that's a little more generic, and like a, it's not as um, it's like springy. This is like 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 a linen. Okay, like we got kind of a stuff. light light brown vibe going. On. Oh, that's nice. I'm just extra sanitized right now. I'm vibing with the with the sanitization vibe of it. Oh, f- <laughs> first of all, first of all, if you didn't see this, if you're not watching on YouTube, he sprayed it directly in his face. So here's my question for Gray: Neither <laughs> sanit- no, 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 no. Not, neither sanitizer 
or perfume or cologne would you spray directly <laughs> in your fucking face? So what was the line of logic there? I was trying to like, I wanted, like, right I'm watching you face. do this side spray right here. And I was he like, I'll it? do that. And instead I just went like, boom, <laughs> just right, right his fucking eyeballs. Hey, uh, what are your thoughts? I like this. I think it's sick. Germstar is a vibe. Germstar is a vibe. You guys should actually check this out. What I like about it is kind of like when you're spraying the hands or you're spraying the stuff, or let's say you're in your car and a friend got in that you don't really trust. You spray where they were, and now your car smells like cool cologne. You're like, oh, let perfume. me just like get my car better. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. And now like that whole area is sanitized, yep. and their gross ass can sit next their to you. Their gross ass is good. Hey, what's his name? What's his name? Brad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Brad. It took me a second. Germstar.com. I, I, we approve. This we is a vibe. Approved. Thank you the for sending. Vibe. Well, you know what we're going to do? And we're going to put these right here. Because I'll be honest with you. Uh, we have hand, foot, and mouth kidding, disease. We have hand, foot, and mouth disease over. over at the uh, the Martinez oh, dude, crew, and I'm not trying so to get it. So I'm going to be spraying this, it all dude. over his place wherever Looking, he walked dude, out. Of. I'm just all right. Next plugs. Next. Okay, pick one. Pick one. Pick one. What do you want? There's a couple pink. big ones down there. Pink. Here we go. This is a vibe. This is a vibe. Pink bag. Love the pink bag. It's kind of cool, Love creative. It. Love it. Sticker. Yep. There's some sort of uh, says freaksbyme.com. I don't know if that's them or if it's just. That's on the bag, but it's just on the bag. Oh no! Whoa! Oh, okay. tease, baby, tease. All right, here I'll give you one. You t I'll, here we go. Thank you. Hi, I heard about your small business segment, and I really thought you guys would like these. I quit my job a couple months ago to pursue my art and start a brand called Freaks by Me. I think we are all weird and perfect, crazy, and we are all freaks. Hope you enjoy me. I do enjoy Mia. Freaks by Me. Oh, let's see this. I like this. Great artwork. This is Mia. super cool. Look at this. This is super cool. Freaks by me. Look at that. Now, Mia, I'm going to give you some. First off, I had, I approve. I do. So I've been making merch. So I'm going to go into these. I approve the Guild and Hammer tea. This is a nice. I also, just let's start with the design. Cut. The designs are, are very unique and it cool. Is. I dig the designs. So one little thing I learned about is you can re-tag. And it's not too expensive. It's like 15 cents a shirt, 15 to 20 cents a shirt. But you can actually have them rip this tag out and sew in a custom right. tag for you. And you buy like 500 of them for like a hundred dollars. Wait, I got a chatty. I got a chatty broad shirt on, but it increases it? like oh, it increases no, your know. production costs slightly. Like, yeah. you know, do you can do it. You can do the math, but it's like if you're doing 200 shirts and you're doing like 20 cents, 20 cents extra shirt it's right. really not bad and it's a nice touch and it's dude it makes it feel like it's if this said if this said freaks by me on it makes the inside, it look luxury it makes it look like a full full brand package and if you didn't know that's how everyone does t-shirts you guys i love that but yeah that's mia, all you thank need to you. do mia these are great the tiger these king says that's thank our you. constructive advice very cool all right next okay bros <laughs> My man and I run a small business. I love this. My man and I run a small business and wanted to send a couple of teas for our favorite bros. We hope you guys like them. Plug or just love them, whatever you feel. Much love. A Chicago brought him, bro, Gracie and Joe. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's what I like about it. It's from Chicago. It's from Chicago. Because it's this. Play like Jordan. Party like Rodman. Dude, tight. So You know what I like about this? This could have been like... Um, this could have been something that like some LA guy just tried to make because it was like hot during like the documentary. But I like that it's like they're from Chicago from and Chicago, they're real fans. Brandon, yeah, this is sick. I this would totally really uh, totally wear this. I'll probably be climbing in this. Yeah, that's a vibe. Also, note they did the tearaway. They have a custom. There you go. Just a right thing. They got a custom <clears throat> thing in here. So we open up their shirt and it's the obvious logo. It's the obvious shirt. Printed logo. in Chicago. Yep. That's cool. It is very. No, cool. I don't know if it's obvious shirts. The name of their company. Obviousshirts.com. Okay. It's on the All right. Of the tag, Sick. Baby. All right. Nice work. By the way, we're like, we're three for three right now. We are three for three. I will three. say this is. I'm sick. not surprised. You want to see some talent, Evan? Let's see some just absolute party talent. I gotta make a little thing to open up this box right here, so I'm just gonna. So sketchy. Like you're minutes away from just absolutely cutting an artery. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> ah. 
you were the guy that was like, oh, I know how to use a trailer, and then just, just I got this. <laughs> Yo, you want the me? Side of the you definitely hill. want me with you after the world of the world goes to shit. Naked and, and afraid. You just eat a knife. I got it. It's the tearaway tape, dude. It's the tearaway it's tape. Tearaway You're tape. not supposed to need a knife, so I didn't want to, at all costs. I wasn't going to use it. Got 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 it. Okay, wait. No, you got to. Oh, it's is my your own packaging. Yeah. Okay. This one smells fucking good. Wild though. lather. Ooh, this does smell good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to skip that. Okay. Bros, there is a good chance these were made while listening to your show. Ooh, I like that. Sorry, this is small, so I'm trying to read it. Thanks for keeping me company Let in me the studio. It. Please stop by next time. Oh, in Pasadena. Pasadena. Yeah, in Pasadena. Enjoy, Liz. Wild lather. Okay, so check this out. So we hope you enjoy this cold processed soap, creamy and gentle for everyday use. Wild lather is made by uh, hand in small weekly packaging. batches with organic plant oils, wild harvested, har harvested bot botanicals, and unique steam distilled essential oil blends. Our triangles are always vegan, palm oil free, and multi-use for full body bathing, shaving, face, face wash, and sustainable travel. Air cured for one month and made, made with so much... Love, breathe deeply, friend. Wow. Dude, I <clears> love <throat> it. I love the branding. It's really cool. Sorry to have such a hard time Dude, reading here. this thing. paper packaging. That's a vibe. That's an absolute vibe. It's, it's looking a vibe. Like, Feel it. It's cool. It's like um, honeycomb. Oh, excuse me. It's Miller Lite. It's making me burp. Look at these little triangle wedges. Look at these little triangle. Dude, it's so Ooh, nice. Let me see one of them. Three ounces. This one's, what's, what's yours called? This one's called Byron Bay. You see that? Oh, Sequoia. Call me by your name. Oh, I like that. These are you know sick. What? I'll rock when me one of and these. Becca first started dating, yeah, we this tried, smells like something you we guys. We tried would have. to watch Call Me by Your Name. It feels like dude, it smells really good. Yeah, this is super cool. Um, we tried to watch Call Me. It took us like mm, five nice. days to watch Call Me by Your Name. I don't think I've ever seen it. Really? No. It's really good. This is sick. Call Me by Your Name. I'll have to, I'll have to watch it. it Wild is. lather. Sick. Just, it's the soap smells fantastic. This is very pro, right? This looks really high end. Like it's the the branding is amazing. It looks and smells amazing. This is some super like cool. It's vegan. Yeah, this is like this is this is like I would expect to be in some super cool store in Highland Park and like this is it what they would be. Probably is, dude. I mean, 100%. this person's from past. This is very LA. All it's very all LA. Day. Very cool. All right, next. Um wild lather very cool okay, dude i mean four go. for four jeez jesus dude i love this this is the best this is, way to get this is shit. awesome it's got i can't me see and it you. oh we're in it's it okay you on the letter well designed letter it's wow evan. when evan when i was cradling evan and he was in he would look like a magical minstrel <laughs> an entire nation was moved by your performance of photograph wow originally okay. performed by nickelback Evan, we're also aware of your more serious musical endeavors as Tripper. While this is not a typical unboxing product, we'd love to offer you song production through our platform, ittydiddy.com. <laughs> you can choose to have your cover version of Photograph produced by an original song from Tripper. On Itty Diddy, you will have the opportunity to work with our global directory of vetting music producers on your song. Post your song and requests and feedback from producers. Your three favorite producers will create an, actually, an actual sketch of your song to show what they can do with it. Three, pick your favorite sketch and producer and complete your song to perfection. Professional production of one song on Itty Ditty for the bros. Wow. Wow, this is a $1,500 value. Wow. Okay, so you, okay, so what it sounds like, yeah, it's like it's like a service that you, you if you're someone who goes, hey, like, I, um, I don't know how to produce my music. I have some ideas. You send them maybe like some sort of like basic demo or something. And then they, they hand it to people who know how to like produce. And then they it build could it. actually be fun for us to do. Let's do it. Yeah, we should do it. We could okay. do it for live content. Here's what we'll do. An attorney. Next time we're going to next, next time, or maybe me and you at some point, we'll get the, I'll get my guitar and we'll do like, Oh, we can do it on the show. We'll do like look at this photo, oh, and, and we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll just record that, and then Don't we'll even, send that. I to can't them. start it without finishing. And then we'll so send that to them, yeah. And we'll see what comes back. So cool idea, but we can't give you any 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 idea what it is because we don't know what an example is. But I like the idea; very fun. 
first of all, just the artwork alone is 10 out of 10. I mean, you gotta hand it to I them. I do. I like I it. I love it. They know how they know how to use the design. Microsoft yeah. Word. I liked Word Art. Well, thank you, Emily. Is it Emily? Yeah. I see. They, okay, cool. We'll but do I this. don't think, look, we'll here's the thing, though. It's not... I, I, it's unclear whether or not this is Emily's company. Oh, or if she just works for them? Yeah. Oh. It's unclear. Okay. But it does sound fun. It does fun sound fun. enough for us to do it. It does definitely. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Hey, bros. Here are two of my prints as well as two tote bags. I left my corporate job to pursue painting and I'm now selling... See, you know, I've been reading all this article of people quitting their jobs and working from home now. This is another example. Uh, I live in New York City, but grew up in San Diego and try to infuse some extra sun into each of my pieces. These are done with pen, marker, and some kind of gauche paint? Gauche paint? Gauche. Gauche. Gauche paint. A shout out would be massive, uh, would massively help me to keep my paint. What? Help me to keep painting. Use the code BESTIES for 10% off on my store. Find it by searching Anissa, Anissa Riviere on Etsy. Feel free to roast me. <laughs> Much, I, like the, I like her already. There's Much love to you in the broads. There's absolutely no way we're going to roast her. Let's see this. They're gorgeous. They're Damn. Absolutely made for frames. See, you know what's bullshit about this is that she wants us. She's down for us to roast her, but yet her shit's awesome. Her. Awesome though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it's hard. Let me see one of these. Well, I can actually see this first. Oh, cool tote, rad tote. We're supposed to be roasting. No, she said like, feel free to, but she's like, feel it's really to. good. It Let me see good. one of these. Oh, little Topo Chico speaking my language. Oh yeah, these are awesome. These are really cool. Look at this vibe. I don't know. This is perfect for like the home. You know, you put th let's put you, you know you mean how you put three of them next to each other on the wall. It's on. It's hard for you guys to see it on here, but this one's got a little French press and a little Ooh. a little plate full of grapefruit. That okay? That right there is my dream morning. Really? Just French press and grapefruit? No, I mean just the vibe of this one. Grapefruit in, is such an old a, man. No, 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 hear me, me. In a, in a hotel, like screams you have in, in a cool hotel. French press yeah. is like my favorite thing in the world. When they, when you know what I mean, when they serve it to you and you get a little French press and some fruit. Oh yeah, this is like me all day. I like this I one. This. this is my vibe for sure. The the Chico, Tobo Chico. Uh, dude, I'm addicted. Mm. Problems. All right, you love it. She's you talented. killed it. She's got Anissa, chops. Anissa, Anissa underscore Riviere. R I V I E R E. And her prints are on Etsy. 10% off with code BESTIES. Oh, no way. She gave everyone a, a discount code. That's cool. Super cool. Thank you. Damn. All right. Damn, bro. We're making out. We got any more? All these people who send us things of three, you're going to make me and Evan fight over them. Seriously. They save the biggest one. But I will say three is kind of nice because then if you got like two and one's clearly no one's got, better. Like, a cookie company or like, you know, some kind of like a <laughs> some company, sort of Some sort of snacks. <coughs> Any, anyone cool like starting drinks. a brewery? Right. We got pink pink duct tape in, a, in your classic yeah. United, United, United States Postal. I'm like stumbling over my words today. Dude, for real. You hearing me? I'm having a hard time over I here. I am too, though. Dude, these, why are these robes so fire? Robes are fucking tight. <laughs> this with some sweats? It's a look. Try not to, like, be tempted, you know? Okay. Try got this is... open. Don't make it so hard for me to get in here again, you guys. Also, though, lots of bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. I'm gonna take it home for the kids. Oh, they love it. They love I don't, it. I don't know. Sorry for the listeners who don't like this shit. Like the ones who just like me doing Pop Rocks. This, this is, is just ASMR. for you. It's just for everyone who hated the Pop Rocks bit so much. <laughs> Amazon. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Okay, let's start with Are this. Are you shitting me? If you want to like have Vibes major bias. Universe if you want to have major it. bias, you start oh, with candy. Oh, you st you start with candy, dude. Right when we needed it most. <clears throat> we're, al we're already going to like your thing we just better than we would have. We're already Fun dips! What are you opening up? I got the cherry one in my I hand I got the right Raz Apple Magic. Straight up, dude. This one takes me back. Dude, I got uh, Fun Dip in the house right now. Shut up. <laughs> it's a vibe. 
Save it for later, dude. Um. Wow. Mm. We got a pin in here. Dude, I love the, by the way, I love the packing. The packing is so like my aunt, my aunt, who like gives you a grab bag. <laughs> <laughs> the packing's insane. Oh, tissue paper, <clears throat> dude. This is gonna be an experience. It's like an old lady tissue paper. I'm vibes. immediately. This is amazing. Okay, here's a sick pin. Very homemade already. In French, they say. Uh, I can't read it. They have white lettering over a white thing. They say, "Trust me." Some fr too many. I can't do. I can't read French. What All is right. it? Let me see. Which means you are missing from me. I don't know, dude. You try to read it. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is like, this is definitely like, even. <sighs> it's a dad holding his little girl, kissing her on the cheek. It's really cute. Super cute. All right. I got to move on. I'm sorry. I mean, <clears throat> I really don't mean to offend anyone who was really, I was really upset over that pop box thing. I thought it'd be a joke. Whoa. And then lo and behold, we open up candy. That letter looks legit. Turn it to the front. No way. My name is Candy, owner of Candy's Lebanese Kitchen. Dude, this oh, is chock okay. full of goodies. Long story short, I'm a single mom and home chef, widowed in 2016. Shit. Sympathies, Candy. <clears throat> my daughter's father was killed by... Wow, okay. Oh. I wasn't prepared for this. My, father's, my daughter's father was killed by a drunk driver May 6, 2016. He was on his way home from work. At the time, he was the manager of a pool hall... Back in 2003, mm. he placed seventh on American Idol. His name is Whoa. Ricky Smith. Wow. wow. He had worked all night for Cinco de Mayo at the pool hall. It was around 3 a.m. He was almost home when a drunk driver was driving the wrong way on the highway, resulting in a head-on collision. As I type this out, it's still gut-wrenching. In good spirits, though, I am overjoyed to send this gift to you and all your families. You have given me so much joy and laughter over the years, especially the last two years. I felt like I know all four of you and your kids. The bros are my soul sisters, like, for real. Aww. I have adored Becca from the very second I saw her in The Bachelor and Jess is a complete boss babe with a beautiful soul. I am a huge fan of the podcast and the whole crew's parenting styles. I have recently started my, my sole purpose, which is feeding people. Right now, I'm offering these little $25 handmade candy gift boxes gift boxes baskets or bouquets i hope you enjoy this box filled with some of my favorite candy also maybe you don't need this gift if you think someone who would be overjoyed to receive it please feel free to re-gift wow grayston evan becca and jess i am sending you all the love and light in this world sincerely a huge fan of small business owner from oklahoma candy stinnett instagram candies oh, candies k well, her name is Candy, and then her business is Candies, like C A N D I E S. Uh, and her Instagram is Candies with that I E S, Lebanese Kitchen. Wow. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Candy. Well, yeah, thank you, Candy, for the fun dip. As I said, fun dip is one of his favorite candy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I see. It didn't stop, it, Evan. It's just so much candy. <laughs> Dude, Hershey's Kisses. <clears throat> Get the fuck out of here. Does she, is, is fun dip, fun dip in? Oh. Fun dip, fun book. I've never even seen or heard this. I got a word Damn. search here. I love word searches. Do you? I'll take them or leave them. I like word searches. But I like crossword puzzles. This, this one's is got super both. cool. I'm a big fan of both. And it's chock full of fun dips. <laughs> we get the most the fun dip of out all out time. Here. Candy! <laughs> Sending us candy. Dude, look at this fucking box. Oh, is that almond roca? Dude, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. I always I was a these. big fan of these Kinder Eggs. Oh, those are oh, fire. Oh, what the fuck is this? This one splits in half? Oh. Oh, and it's got a little spoon. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let's try this. What is this? I've never had one of these. Whoa. I thought this was going to be one of those foil-covered eggs. I thought this was... What shit is this? This is really good, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're eating it like you've been in the desert for <laughs> two months. <laughs> they mm. found you. Wow. Even without candy. Mm. You know what's amazing is I was going to buy us candy when I was buying this beer. 
Really? But I felt like I brought candy on so many of the episodes, I was going to spare everybody. Oh my god. And then candy came through. There's so much in here. Carmelo's. Little thin. What are these thin little 100 calorie? Little thin little 100 calorie Snickers bars. What are these? You know what I don't get? Mm. It's no different than a regular Snickers bar. It's just smaller. It was so thoughtful of them. How is that. that 25 bucks? Well, it should be more. That's like a full, uh, just just on <clears throat> just on amount alone. There's so much candy, you guys. That's what I'm saying. It's so much candy. Reese's Pieces, Hershey's, Carmelo's. I said Milky Ways. These Kinder Eggs. Pez. Pez, dude. Pez. Mario Pez, nonetheless. Sick Pez. Mario and Luigi. Which one do you want? Talk about bros. Mario wow. and Luigi. Classic bros. Which one do you not want? I'll take that one. I love them both. They're both kings. Mm. Wow. Candy. Thank you, Candy, for the candy. I love wow. this segment. This is crazy amount of candy. I want to try her food. That's what I'm saying. Right now, I'm offering this little... So right now, I'm offering these little $25 handmade candy gift boxes, baskets, or bouquets. Um. Wow. Super cool. We support this entirely. It's candy. Just straight up candy is an underrated candy. gift. It really is just a massive thing of candy. We have a whole hot at Easter. All you give is a fucking basket of candy. But here's why here's why candy is such a vibe. Because you get that box, right? Mm -hmm. And then that box sits in your house. And it lasts you for like six months. Because you just every day you just grab something little, you just grab it real quick and you That's just nail stretch, it. Dude, this shit would not okay, last whatever. But you know what I mean? You don't go to town. You'll go like to town for the first day. I'm going but to, then you go to town? I go to town. Oh, uh, see, I'm like a I'm like a Oh no. <laughs> it's fun dip everywhere. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> that's super gross. Can't wait. I like this guy. This guy's licking it off the plastic, yet he has 40 gallons of fun dip right next to him. It just seems nonsensical. To I go agree. To waste. I agree. Wow. Thank you, Candy, for the candy. Thank we love you. So you. We're much. sorry for your loss. And we hope this helps in any small way that it can. I got to say, success. So successful. What a sick segment. I was kind of hoping that like someone would send something in that I would like we kind of could roast, but like it was everyone was just ten out of ten. Like I will say, you guys killed it. So the sorry, shirts are sick. We got some new clothes. We got a bunch of candy. We got tote bags. We need someone to start a vacuum cleaner business. Vacuum cleaner we'll business. Send it. If anyone's in the golf club business, we'd love a new set of clubs. Mm. Um, anyone's in the beer business, we always need beer to drink. Seltzer business. That's always, you know, I'm sure there's so many seltzers out there now. There is. I mean, honestly, dude, if it's... Send it to us, we're going to open it. Send it to us, and we'll open it. Straight from the Tiger King himself right I mean, here. We're doing this. We're, we're at, me and Evan have episodes every week now. Yeah, coming up this next year. I don't know if we... 2022. Can we officially say that? Every week. It happened. We don't the even bros. have an Instagram yet, but you're going to have episodes every week. I really want our own Instagram, by the way. It's something I've been bringing up because we get we have to do a sick photo shoot. Oh yeah, to to like a, an official. Oh, and maybe a new studio. Mm -hmm. Our what own do you want? We vibe. talked about the studio a little bit. What do we say? Like dartboards with the girls' faces on them. <laughs> That's good. The That's dartboards. Tight. That's sick. That's a good look. Man cave, you can't come in here arcade like we gotta have an arcade game behind us i'm saying like a pinball machine and then we were thinking really cool like seats like one of those weird hand seats <laughs> yeah hand or like seat, a, or a like a giant beanbag chair a giant beanbag or like a really big uh heel you know like a high heel yeah. just some I weird much, shit like that i want to show like richie rich's bedroom or like yes um what's it blank check yeah when he builds it when he decks it out his house Oh, we were thinking about um, race just car that beds. Replica of that race car beds would be so race, tight. Race car beds. I never had one. I always wanted a race car bed. <laughs> Did you what do? Does, does Ember have a themed bed? Did she have a cool ass bed like a unicorn bed or something? Um, she we bought her stuff like that, but then she would be spooked on it because we she would like get it and we'd be hanging and she'd be like, I don't like this. Freaks me out. Um, so it's very stripped. Kind of looks more like a prison. I keep. I really want. I want all that kind of corny you like the fun shit. stuff. Dude, I love it. I think it's so cool. I never had it as a kid. Uh huh. There's nothing I'd love more than like a giant, like if I could, if Becca would allow it, I would have a king size plastic race car bed frame. <laughs> well, just actually, for, for real. It, just for fun. Like, dude. A, like, yeah. a, like a life size 
NASCAR. Well, yeah, but the kids like the, the one real NASCAR they had, though, like yeah, it's hollowed the, oh, out. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> so cool, headlight. stretched out. Yeah, <laughs> it takes with up the like whole room. Nabisco, just big, right on the hood, right there, <laughs> right when you walk in the bedroom and they're giving you the tour of our house. You know, a totally regular house, and then you go in the you know I take you in the bedroom, and I'm like, but the bedroom though it takes up the whole. But thing. I'm like, the bedroom though is the bedroom's different. The bedroom's you know, fire. You come in, it's got this huge foil, a king size foil behind oh, there. Oh my just, god! I'm not really into racing either. I'm just gonna say I don't have like a thing for NASCAR. I don't follow it at all. You just enjoy racing beds. There's just the thought the racing bed. <laughs> if there was a event for that, I'd follow it. That's the sport I'd follow. Race car beds. Racecarbeds.com? Yeah, if they imagine that. No one would buy them, but it'd be sick. Right. <laughs> Did you ever have the like dream, not a dream or like a fantasy as a kid of like going to school in your bed? No. Be I've like, heard man, about like, that though. Here I am sitting in class, but like imagine if I was in class just in my bed, like in my pajamas right. in bed, and we were all just in our own beds instead of instead Did of you, the school chairs. Are you a dreamer? Like do you have a lot of dreams? Yeah. I was rarely present. It's something I have to struggle no, 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 to work No, 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 I don't mean in life. I mean, um, when you sleep, do you have dreams? Oh, um, yeah. Sometimes when I, when I remember them, they're fucking crazy. When I, my, I know I dream most nights and then I wake up and I'm like, oh, and I can't remember it. Now, are your dreams like, um, like, oh, it's kind of realistic or are they like outlandish kind of real like anxiety dreams tend to be kind of realistic okay. and the most outlandish ones tend to be kind of realistic okay a lot of them tend to be kind of i'm like a lot of them are like lucid feel like oh it feels like just real reality yeah <clears throat> i'm like i'm i'm super polar so like i'll have dreams that just are a slight tweak on my life so it's like if it's an anxiety dream, everything about my life is the exact same except this one very bad thing happened. Mm -hmm. So it feels very believable. And you wake up sweating or I'll have fucking insane dreams like I'm battling intergalactic demons with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Those are the best. Those are my favorite dreams. And it's always there's always like a celebrity in them. Dude, I have one that I've never <laughs> forgotten. I had never forgotten that me and my friend's dad were in like matching fucking metal gear solid like body suits yeah fighting off like hordes of zombies in a graveyard when i was like 10 years old i had this crazy lucid dream that like me and alan were just fucking blasting zombies away behind like tombstones and we were just like just joking epic. like joking and bantering i was never really like close with my friend's dad but it was just like for whatever reason he was a character in my dream and we yeah. just fucking went toe to toe with this horde of zombies. I've never forgotten that one. Heavy. But zombie apocalypse dreams when it's just like just chaos and slaughtering okay, the that's enemy. That's like video games. It's the it's the best crazy dream to like wake up from cold sweats and you're like <clears throat> I thought it was real. That's the sickest. The anxiety dreams when like you're someone's trying to beat you up and you can't fight back. Oh. Those are the that's worst. That's the worst. Oh, I, you, I used to have <clears throat> dreams where I was I want I I could fly. And then right when I needed to fly, I couldn't, you couldn't fly. So like I would run. Real, I, had, so I, I remember there was one. I was flying all around and all of a sudden there was like this bad guy coming after me and I would run and fly for like three seconds about a foot above and then fall. Yep. And I couldn't get it going. I remember like it'd be like you need to and then I, I needed to like pr like create momentum like in Mario when you had the wing hat. Yeah. And you dive down to build momentum to go up and I'd be like skydiving off of trash cans. But it was yeah. like if you doubt it, then it doesn't work, but it's right. like, you know, no, it's, it's, it's the Peter Pan thing. You have to believe. So, yeah. You have to believe <clears throat> it. And you're just like, Oh my God, these fucking dreams, anxiety dreams. But like when people are trying to beat you up and you can't, you're sluggish. Yeah. You try to hit them, but like your punch is really soft or you try to run, but you can't, you're moving so slow and you keep falling and tripping. And they're like, you're like rolling away from them. So I remember when I was a kid, um, we just didn't have a lot of money. So like I was always getting in fights with my dad about like wanting something and then like we just couldn't get it. But it was always like me trying to reason with him why we needed it. Mm -hmm. And I remember I would have dreams all the time of just like someone being like, hey man, um, you want the surfboard? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, it's all good. Take it. It's fall free. Everything you want's free. And it was just, I was buying cars and getting surfboards and all this sick stuff. And I would just be like in my dream being like, yes, this is awesome. Yes. And then waking up and none of it's there. Now that is a doubt. When you're 13 mm -hmm. and you think you just got new like ice skates, spike, skateboard, a surfboard. Was that? And like, you're just like, you're in heaven. Was that the first? And then you wake up and you're like, fuck. Would you say that was your first 
bout with depression. <laughs> and that was much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <clears throat> it's about that time. Is it? No, it can't be. We have to say goodbye right now. <laughs> right now? Yeah, that's, like when have, that's when you're at your friend's house and your mom's like, it's time to go, right honey. Now. It's time to go. Seriously, it's time to dude. go, honey. Let's get some video games going up, Evan. Like we gotta go Should we home? start streaming? Oh, you know what? Okay, so we're going to bring this up. Evan and I are going to a holiday party together. Oh, are you coming? I'm going. Oh, I asked Becca today. Oh, I was like, oh, is, uh, I was going to ask, are you going to be my friend in public? Um, no, but like, I would imagine that like, <laughs> honestly, a lot of the people on Friday, I haven't seen in a very long time. And a lot of the people probably have changed too. So I'm probably not going to know many people there. We'll probably See, be in the same boat. I was never really good friends with, this is like your whole group of friends. No, this is like, I have some friends at this. This wasn't my whole group. Really? No, I'm like halfway there. I knew some of the people okay. here. Because I don't know like anybody. And I wasn't going to go if you guys weren't going. So when I found out right. you were going, I was like, okay, I'll go. But then I was also like, I'm going to tell, I'm going to let the broads know that if Evan's not my friend in real life at the party, I'm going to tell everyone on the next podcast. What if you showed up and I literally just like said hi to you and then never talked to you again for the rest of the <laughs> night? <laughs> I just sat alone. I just sit alone and get too drunk. <laughs> then you come back and you're like, dude, were you there? It was legendary. Uh, just like we were having so much fun. It'd just be like, oh my God, it's horrible. Yeah, so actually we should uh should we rip it up a little bit and then have stuff to talk about next time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pez dude, classic. Classic Pez too. That's not like a that's not a new Pez. Oh, thanks. Such a shitty candy, but it's just so much it's fun. It's so good. I like it. I like hard candies. The whole concept of Pez is just, here we are, we're on plug something, we're plugging Pez. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. It totally does, dude. I get, thanks this to, is something again. I understand collecting, too. Yeah, that's a vibe. If you have a Pez collection, DM us your Pez collection, we'll show it. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> a picture of someone's Pez collection? When we, get our, dude, when we get our own Instagram, <laughs> think of all the things we can do. Send, okay. How about this? Yeah, yeah. Once we get our Instagram, you can send us a pest collection, and we'll we will retweet mm -hmm. or re fucking story. We'll retweet it on our Instagram. That's insane. Send we'll us a picture sickest, of it. And we'll we'll share it. We'll have the sickest photo shoots too. Yeah, I'm so excited for them. It's gonna be fire. Oh, our merch is. We also update on merch. There's not really an update, but we're gonna do it. It's still caught in the port. And it's gonna be so sick. Is it still caught in the port? Because we're supposed to have I merch think the like months ago. Plan is Valentine's Day launch for porch. Mm. For merch, for porch, for po <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with us today? <laughs> We've had one and a half beers. I've had. I'm on. I'm actually on my third beer. All right. Well, we love you all. Thanks for sending everything. Honestly, we love this segment. It's the most fun. We love you all. That thank was, you so much, you guys. Thank you so much for bringing Happy all this. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Cockfight. These are sick, These right? are fire, dude. These are a vibe in and of themselves. Cockfight and dragon. Mine's got two dragons on oh, it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know which one you were going to choose. I was like, it could go either way. Well, with the with the wig, I had to go cockfight. I had a feeling you'd go cockfight. Right. It's so hard. It's hard. You kind of want it. You want this one. We kind of knew it was the best Dobbins. one. It's kind of was. No way. We knew that you wanted the cockfight one, so we got it. That oh, was that's like sweet. the vibe. We had the whole conversation. We're like, you know you're going to end up wearing dragon. You got to be okay with wearing <laughs> you, you like, end up you're okay with dragon. like your mom, and she's like walking you through the process of like going to the party with the little kids. Like, dragons like, are cool. Hey, I like dragons. You're going to have to probably give this up. No, you can have this cockfight. I just wanted to wear it while I had the wig because I felt like it mixed Did the vibe. Did you have a theme in like third and fourth grade, like the kind of shirts you wore? Like, were you really particular? I wasn't about themed. It? I was skate. I was skateboarder kid. So I all I had was billabong, skate stuff. Billabong and like Quicksilver used to make all kinds of dragon stuff. Oh, you were like okay. So I always liked just shirts with dragons on them. It was I just all for me. It was dragons. just skate shops. Yeah, that cool. was it. No, 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 cool. Like I didn't have a. I didn't. You have like a. You had like a brand. I didn't have a brand. Just dragons, dude. Any just shirt with general dragons. Dragons. Just dragons. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense though, because you're like a larper and stuff. Like so you like the kind of. Sci it wasn't, but I wasn't in. I wasn't lo like a larper at that time. I've got into all that. It was I the, got it was the more it was serious the beginning no, of. No, dude. When I was in like elementary school, I was like deep into sports. Oh really? But I was just like dragon shirts are tight. So yeah, I just it's wanted heavy. drag. I was really into Dragon Ball Z, but just. Dragons. It was hard. It was hard. That it was, was hard the most of the thing. I was circle. like, this is fucking sick, dude. Just dragons. Just dragons are fucking killing everybody. It's yeah. awesome. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. You see this my dragon? dragon? What's my favorite animal? Dragon. Hey Becky, you see my dragon? You see this no? dragon? All right, cool. I've been meaning to get like a classic dragon tattoo. 
And then you grew out of it right at that point. I was thinking about it forever. <laughs> I was a long period of time where I thought I'd get the dragon from Dragon Ball Z like on my whole oh, back. That actually be kind of fire, I'll be honest with you. With all the dragon balls at the base. Wait, his name's Chevron? Shenron, oh. not Chevron. Uh, I was like, It's what? close. It is close. What's funny is all the Japanese names of the characters, like Goku's Saiyan name is Kakarot, Whoa. which is, just means carrot in japanese oh weird and that's like kind of a, all their all their saiyan names in the in the comics so mm -hmm. like they're just the names of like food like all the characters are just food food names in japanese it's kind oh, of dude. funny chevron and cock cock rack <laughs> evans i can tell you're a fan i can tell you i love fan. it honestly the little bit that i've seen i think i think i'm ready to get into it do you have dragon ball just like anime D and D. like i think i'm ready Anime and D and D is on different. Oh, they we'll are. We'll go, dude. We'll Sorry. do some. I don't know no, anything, you're dude. fine. You're fine. But I'm trying to be open minded, and I want Let's to. I want it. to start. You know what? We could do some Warhammer. Sure. Some tabletop stuff. You'll have. You'll have some fun with that. It's a lot more time consuming than you think. You know what we should do? We should do a YouTube drinks, video. You have dinner. We should do a video where you it's teach hours. me some of this stuff. But no, okay. but like we do like a bit of bridged version, and you you should walk me through some stuff. We should have my friend Henry on, and he can he's really good. Okay. He's the, he's really good at explaining it. We could do Magic the Gathering. Okay. We could do, but it's got to be kind of funny though. It can't be like super serious. Or no, else it's gonna it'll be, weird. be it, it's intrinsically <laughs> funny, and then it'll be um, we could do like the building blocks of Magic the Gathering. Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer. It should just be a whole series on trying to get me to turn to Which that one side. do you like? Yeah, we'll just try to introduce you to right, stuff and I see what it. you like. All right, cool. Live All action right. fantasy role play stuff. I and that's it. what I feel like you actually, I think you keep bringing it up and you keep going for the blonde wigs because you really do like I, I it. I honestly, there's something, I feel good about it and I think there's something to it. There is something to it, dude. I mean, for myself, obviously that. there's something to it. I'm saying that why do I keep rocking the wigs? Why am I doing this to myself? I think there's something there. You don't so. know until you try it. That's like, you know, I mean, we talked about it. I'm proud of you. It sound, definitely sounds like you're getting something out of your therapy stuff. Dude, big time. I'm opening wide I up. kicked mine down the road. I have my first session tomorrow night. I heard you do. 8 p.m., <sighs> baby. Me and... Um, Who was the person? How'd you find him? My friend recommended it. My Sick. friend is a is a drug counselor. And so I asked him, like, if he had, because he had to go through everything. And so he was a, um, not an intern, but did like some program with this guy. Sweet. Yeah. We'll compare notes. We will. We will. Love you, bro. Love you too, man. Cheers. And we'll see you in two weeks. And then after that, it's like a week. And then we're going to start full time. Are you guys ready for us every week? We're going to have, hopefully by then we'll have our new intro music, maybe a new oh, studio. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have our, our own Instagram. But in the meantime, what you can do is you can fuel the other segment we were toying, which was called Dear Bro. Yeah. And you can send us examples of bros that you know having beef with each other. And then we will give advi emotional advice to them. Should we here. should we make it less specific? Should we just make it more like bros in need? Bros in need. Yeah. Just I mean, I mean dear, bro, dear bro is the, the thing. But it's people. It's bros who need advice. Bros who need advice, and that's kind of like a hey. And so you and you as a if you're with a if you're with a bro, you could kind of send it advice on their behalf. Mm -hmm. If you are a bro, you can send it in on your behalf. If you're a bro looking out for another bro, you could send it out on their behalf. If you're just anyone, you know, we're looking out for the bros now. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I was going to say something to keep in mind, just to give you a little. Here's a little example of what you can expect from what the kinds of ways we're going to approach things. What Evan was talking about of being open to all those various situations, a very important person that you should just do those situations for is your partner. Because when they ask you, this is what we're learning. This is what both me and Evan and I are learning mm. about. When your partner asks you to try something, you should just do it. Especially if you haven't done it. It'll just be, it's better for you in the long run, especially mm. if you like them. Then you should just do those things and not brush them off. Be like, Agreed. Oh, yeah. Because then you're going to wind up couples therapy talking about it. <laughs> so if you don't want to, if you don't want to wind is up. A, this is a cautionary uh, tale. Yeah. If you don't want to wind up in couples therapy talking about all those things, just when they're like, hey, honey, like, I think I want to try doing like, you know, let's light some candles and read these cards. Just be like, yeah. And instead of, being like, instead of you just watching like a whatever, like, let's just do this. Be like, Instead of being like, no, like you can do your thing. Like I'll just, I'll do mine. I'll watch a show or just something. Just be like, yeah, honey, like, oh, let's change up our routine a little bit. Let's do that. 
a little bit right now. Let's do that thing. It's just going to work out so much better for you. <laughs> so much better. My favorite thing about that little bit right there was like, <laughs> it started from this place of like, you guys, and here's something last thing I want to say. And then it's just like, do this and you'll avoid fuck the fucking hell I'm in. <laughs> We love you guys. Peace and love. We'll see you in two weeks. And then very soon, every week, we'll be coming at you live. Ah, 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 ah. All right. you, you, I saw you teasing that on your little thing. You started doing your little boxing classes Let's, again. My little boxing classes? Yeah, my, 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 like, my tie bow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. Chat soon. Bye.